Greetings citizens of the Republic of the United States of America. We are anonymous. On May 18, 2012 the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2013 was passed in the House with 229 yes and 120 nays. On December 12, 2012 it passed the Senate. On January 2, 2013, it was signed by the President of the United States of America. The Smith Amendment to the NEAA failed by a vote of 182 to 238. It would have banned indefinite military detention and military commission trials in the United States, making clear that individuals apprehended on U.S. soil who are suspected of terror-related activities can only be tried in a civilian court with all the corresponding constitutional protections. Second. The amendment would have repealed a provision in the FI 2012 NEAA, which requires that a category of foreign terrorism suspects be held in military custody, absent a presidential waiver. The Feinstein Amendment 3018 to the NEAA fools citizens into thinking they are afforded due process of the law under the 14th Amendment. In the legislative branch those who voted in favor of the NEAA and the executive branch who allowed the NEAA to pass into law are guilty of violating their oath of office and are, furthermore, guilty of treason and conspiracy to commit insurrection against the Republic and the sovereigns of the United States of America. On this day of the Reclamation of Independence the citizens of the United States of America serve you notice on February 4, 2013 to remove yourselves from office. You were given eight days to comply. On the ninth day, today, February 13, 2013, the citizens will now exercise their Ninth Amendment right which allows us to remove you from office under the Declaration of Independence. On this day and any day thereafter, Anonymous may deploy. Warhead U.S. DOJ Lee 2013 AE 256 Additionally, on the ninth day, we call upon those who voted against the NEAA to call upon the Senate Sergeant at Arms who is authorized to arrest and detain all persons violating Senate rules, including the oath of office and to arrest those who are guilty of treason and conspiracy to commit insurrection against the Republic and the Sovereign of the United States of America under Article 3 Section 3 of the United States Constitution. If the Sergeant at Arms fails to perform his duties within eight days from now, February 13, 2013, on the ninth day we will call upon the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff to convene a covered meeting to get a vote of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the Provost Marshal General of the Army and or Marines included in attendance as well and demand the military to forcibly remove all those guilty of treason and conspiracy to commit insurrection against the Republic and the Sovereign of the United States of America. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form, as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.